look you guys i think i am falling in love with the romance genre all over again and it's thanks to these two books right here i can't wait to discuss it i'm going to probably be smiling like this throughout the whole video but let's get started welcome back to my youtube channel it's rachel here hit that subscribe button so you never miss a thing you can also like this video so that it is referred to other viewers as well so today we're going to be discussing romance oh my goodness you should have seen my legs like i was literally doing like this <laughs> my feet rather so on my channel right i think i did a video where i showed how my reading tastes have changed and i was talking about the romance genre in general and it's just so interesting how you sort of like evolve over time so there was a time in my life where i used to read so much romance and i'll just be like in between the books and i'll be like whatever me and my sister used to steal like my mom's romance novels and just be reading them and having a blast and then i at some point i felt like i had outgrown it and i felt like oh my goodness this is not even real whatever it's so fairy tale ish and i'm like yeah but you're still reading fiction and none of it is real anyway so in recent times i started trying to like delve into some romance reads i picked up some nigerian romance books i picked up some books by foreign authors and yeah i had been seeing these books around town okay and i'm like okay i really need to see what these books are about so these books are by talia hibbert it's the brown sisters series there's get a life chloe brown this is the first one which i think she released in was it 2019 then take a hint danny brown which she released in 2020 and then there's act your age eve brown which she released released in 2021 i literally got this like last weekend <laughs> but i haven't read that one so today i'm going to be sharing my thoughts on these two books from the smile on my face you can obviously tell that i enjoyed them and these are good romance recommendations if you're looking for something to just escape like look nigeria is tough right now like honestly like what is not expensive like what like everything is so expensive and sometimes okay it's just really lovely to just escape between the pages of a good old romance novel that will just have you smiling and cheesing all over the place when you're reading their stories and just falling in love with the characters that you know don't even really exist so i picked up these books and i read them back to back because i was like why not like why wouldn't i and i really really enjoyed them so i'm going to tell you guys what i thought about each book i'm yet to read at your age eve brown and when i do i will let you guys know how that has gone but i'm going to do a joint book review in this video of these two books <sighs> So let's start with Get a Life, Chloe Brown. So this is written by Talia Hibbert. Talia Hibbert is a black, black British author who lives in a bedroom full of books. Supposedly, there is a world beyond that room, but she has yet to drum up enough interest to investigate. She writes sexy, diverse romances because she believes that people of marginalized identities need honest and positive representation. Her interests include beauty, junk food, and unnecessary sarcasm. That's literally what is at the back of her book on about the author. Look at the cover of this book, you guys. Like, how many romance novels do you see with people, like, the main characters of the ladies looking like this, really? Like, I think that's one of the things that really attracted me. Seeing a black chubby girl with like a full afro her glasses and ep and curvy it was just so amazing because you literally feel represented on the cover of like a romance novel you know because you're used to hearing about how in fact the romance novels was only like white you know skinny washboard abs like kind of women and you're like hi hey, now wow nobody will love me <laughs> as i look like this but it's just so amazing because these are books that i mean yeah you know it's fiction but still just being able to have that representation and that's what i love about talia hibbert's books and which i will come to in this take a hint danny brown i love the fact that she represents people that are not really represented even in literary worlds like whether it's in fiction or whatever so what is this get a life chloe brown about so let me just read out the synopsis chloe brown is a chronically ill computer geek with a goal a plan and a list after almost but not quite dying she's come up with a list of directives to help her get a life and 
number one, enjoy a drunken night out. Two, ride a motorbike. Three, go camping. Four, have meaningless but thoroughly enjoyable sex. Five, travel the world with nothing but hand luggage. And six, and do something bad. But it's not easy being bad, even when you've written out step-by-step -step guidelines. What Chloe needs is a teacher, and she does just the man for the job, Redford Red Morgan. With tattoos and a motorbike, Red is the perfect helper in her mission to rebel. But as they spend more time together, Chloe realizes that there's much more to him than his top exterior implies. Soon, she's left wanting more from him than she ever expected. Maybe there's more to life than her list ever imagined. So yeah. The, the synopsis really captures the book. Chloe Brown, serious computer geek. She has this um, chronic illness where her bones always feel um, heavy. She pants a lot. Like, I think it's called fri 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 I, don't know. I can't pronounce that word. So, yeah, she has that. And then she meets this guy, Redford, who is the manager in her apartment building. And you know what? At first, they don't really like each other, but then eventually they end up like each other. They end up falling in love, and she has to confront a lot of her fears and insecurities. He has to confront a lot of his fears and insecurities in falling in love with her. He's had a not-so-great past, but he's a creative, and he's had a reason why he has abandoned that lifestyle. But then they eventually sort of find themselves in the middle, and, you know, yeah, they fall in love, and, of course, it's a happy ending the writing style of this book is like obviously third person narrative so is it the most simple of the simplest words easy to understand it's a page turner you just want to keep on knowing what is going on and on and on and on until you get to the very end and it has a beautiful beautiful ending i personally was not like about to die over redford morgan but i mean i could understand why chloe would probably like him i, th I thought that both characters were well written so yes if you're looking for something or oh, whatever whatever this is one it's good to start with this one and then you can go to this one i mean it's a series so it will help you understand so there are three sisters there's chloe there's danny and there is eve now let's come to my fave take a hint danny brown oh my goodness you guys i love danny so much like danny is like my spirit animal spirit sister like and then zaf oh my goodness zafir and sari is like i just I just want to like i want him to walk out of the book and just like be like hey hey rachel nice to meet you like literally as i was just reading this video i was like this all through i was always escaping like running away from the rest of the world just so that i could read this book literally that's how much i enjoyed it i i love danny danny's like my favorite character um let me just read out the synopsis of this book danica brown knows what she wants professional success academic renown and an occasional role in the hay to relieve all that career-driven tension. But romance, been there, done that, burned the t-shirt. So Danny asked the universe for the perfect friend with benefits. When brooding security guards affair and, and Sari rescues her from a workplace fire drill gone wrong, it's an obvious sign. PhD student Danny and ex-rugby player Zaf are destined to sleep together. But before she can explain that fact, a video of the heroic rescue goes viral. Now half the internet is shipping hashtag Dr. Rugby and Zaf is begging Danny to play along. Danny's plan is simple. Fake a relationship in public, seduce Zaf behind the scenes, but grumpy Zaf is secretly a romantic and he's determined to corrupt Danny's stone cold realism. With every fake date and midnight meeting, Danny's easy lay becomes more complex than her thesis has her wish backfired. So here is Danny who is like focus driven PhD student. She's trying to, you know, do whatever she needs to do in life. She's not trying to get distracted. She's not trying to fall in love, obviously, because she has been heartbroken before. And then she's friends with Zaf. Like she's always been attracted to him. Like he's a good friend. They work in the same place, even if they have different roles. He's a security guard and he was a former rugby player. So he looks really good. He's like Middle East. I suppose and I love the fact that Talia Hibbert was able to infuse a lot with the culture and the family and traditions and values and beliefs of Zaf you could see like some Middle Eastern values coming into play you could see um, his family and family and community you could see religion come into play like I just love the way Talia Hibbert writes I think that it's so important that people even in the way she describes their bodies and the way that she represents these characters in this book like there is no sense of false reality like this is real and it's not real at the same time so I don't even know how to feel like these characters are written in a way that they represent real life people even if of course they don't even 
exist and I love the fact that she's able to bring all of this to life so here's Zaf who is like a romantic person and he's so unashamed of it you know one thing I love about Zaf Zaf has this like community thing where he teaches young people how to play rugby but it's not even only about that he's more interested in their mental health he talks to them about how you know you don't have to be like a toxic masculine kind of person like it's okay for you as a young boy to show your feelings and show your feelings does not mean that you're weak so he has this thing going on where he caters to like the mental health of these young boys and tries to teach them why it's important for their feelings to show oh, Zaf <laughs> okay so um <laughs> so yeah so he has this thing going on and then danny is all you know what i'm stone cold i'm not trying to be into this I'm emotionally unavailable so all we're just going to do is just be sleeping around and to further fuel the hashtag which has gone viral which has actually helped zap in some of the things that he's doing in life they then decide to just keep on faking it but eventually of course they fall in love and what is so beautiful about their love is that they're already friends at the foundation of it so it's not like as if they're strangers they're friends and their friendship is what blossoms into that beautiful love and i just i love the fact that zaf is so like unapologetically emotional he's on like he's like i'm not going to yeah i read romance novels yes i'm emotional yes i'm sensitive you know yes i express my feelings yes i fall in love and it doesn't make me any less of a man you can't make me feel any less of a man because i'm expressing all those feelings oh my goodness this is what happens when someone who has not been reading romance novels that <laughs> for a while i'm like yeah so i'm just gushing over them eventually they fall in love and look you guys the summary of all of these things that i'm saying is that if you're looking for something feel good -y, you just want to smile you want to curl up in bed and you just want to read some feel good romances these two books will do the job and i can't wait to read the third one but for now danny brown is my favorite sister i love the way talia hibbert writes beautiful beautiful writing style beautiful character development you can see their characters shine through she likes to write like marginalized identities because she believes that they need honest and positive representations and i think that i will give that one to talia hibbert so let's talk about ratings what would i give give get a life chloe brown i will give this one a strong four over five because i couldn't really care much for redford um yeah i thought it was okay but i'm like whatever <gasps> however take a hint danny brown i will give this a strong five over five for sure oh my goodness i can't believe this is me you guys <laughs> you guys need to go and watch the other videos that i put up on my channel where i'm like i can't even deal with all these romance novels they're so whatever but look look at me now just just look at me now this is why i never say never this is a strong five over five for me in my book so if you're looking for something that will make you smile that would alleviate what is going on right now around us in the world and just give you a lovely escape then you can try these two books guys i will let you know when i read at your age if brown and give you like an update on that until then i will keep on cheesing and just being happy that i read these two books if you've read these books or any of them please let me know in the comments if it's something that you plan to read let me know i need to go now because my cheeks literally hurt from smiling and talking about people that don't even exist that is the one that is really killing me right now but i don't know like oh my goodness Zah. Zap is such a beautiful name, you know, Zafir. Oh gosh. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you've not done so. Like this video if you've not done so as well. Let me know in the comments. And please recommend any lovely romantic series books that you think I'll be interested in reading since I'm now like a romance, whatever. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.